What up Long Beach? Welcome back to your home for everything local sports. It's JJ. This highlight video is brought to you by Naples Rib Company, the perfect place to cater your team's next event. Storm clouds are gathering at Blair Field on Friday and it could all come down to this and more league baseball. Lakewood and Polly, the playing with house money game. No one expected these two teams to be atop the more league at this point in the season. You wouldn't know Polly's a 500 team the way they played in the more league. And coming off the worst season under Spud O'Neill, Lances are loose and despite the predictions, could take the league today with a victory. Going with their guy, Ryan Hare, undefeated in the Moore League, and Polly's going to counter with their own senior, Josh Rios. First inning on Friday, set the tone. It's Annie, get your gun out there. Anything you can do, I can do better. Both pitchers get a little PFP in the first, and both pitchers have got the other team swinging at some really bad pitches. Yes tone set. First trouble for either pitcher is in the second inning when Jack Scully goes in search of Mulder down the left field line. That double is off the wall. Scully gonna move over to third on a wild pitch with two outs, but Wild Hair don't care. Like he did twice in the game, he strikes out the side with a runner on third. Rios finds trouble in the bottom of the third inning when Colin Perez reaches on a fielder's choice, moves over on a sack bunt, up comes Dave Rivera, and the sophomore singles up the middle. With two outs, is there gonna be a play at the plate? Nah. O'Neill holds Perez over there at third, still two outs, Zach Martinez up, he's battling. Rivera is going, throw down, but here comes Perez, Connick back to Renneria with the sweet tag, go team! What a play, take another look, if Renneria hit Perez on the back, he beat him. AJ Renteria, one of the most underrated defensive players in the Moore League. Lead off single for Connick in the sixth, has Hare in trouble again, just the second hit off Hare, but he gets Stamler looking, and uh, Coach Mark Claybo doesn't like that very much. In fact, he doesn't like it at all. He doesn't like it so much that he is going to get up in the Blues' face and that's going to send him to the showers early. Claybo not done. Uh, I can read lips and I don't think they're trading summer lunch recipes, making sure the ump can hear everything he's saying. And I know you're thinking it. Hashtag it's one and one. Here comes Toby Hess back to the third base coaching box and we can't make this stuff up. Connick gets picked off on the next pitch, or lack thereof as it were, and momentum is wearing red so we go to the bottom of the seventh where the Lancers know what they're doing because they've done this before. Topoli already this year. Caleb Blue with a leadoff single, and then Robert Funk and nothing but the Funk goes up the middle. Neither of these balls hit very hard, but they get the job done, so no outs, two on, Hell of a situation we got here. Rios up against it. Hare with the flare for the dramatic is gonna come up, but they've got him bunting and he can't get it down. Huge out. Up comes the sophomore Kaufman and he rolls over to the right side for the easy out, but that's the second out instead of the first out. Now the infield is back. Runner on third. Don't even worry about him because they get Perez with the 4-3 ground out. The whole game had the earmarks. We're going to extra innings with the Homer Simpson appetizer. Two donuts. The eighth and ninth innings just sat back and watched these two kids dominate. 19 and two thirds scoreless innings for Hare and Rios. Hare with 13 strikeouts, Rios with eight strikeouts. Just a pleasure watching them play. And they were playing so well, they were picking up their teammates game as well, like Chase Nielsen, who comes up with a cannon in the 10th inning to cut down that runner. But all good things must come to an end. Rios used 124 pitches over nine and two thirds innings left 11 runners on base. Hare with 130 pitches to get through 10 innings, just two hits, those 13 Ks I mentioned, and just one walk. Matt Fields pitches a scoreless 11th for the Lancers, and Polly's gonna send the senior, John Vozella, to the mound for the 11th. Sophomore sensation Rivera gives him a rude welcome to the 11th. That's Rivera's second double, his fourth hit of the game. He was too fired up for the focus of my camera. Amazing game from Sixer after the intentional walk to Martinez. Again, two on, no outs. Fields up there to bunt. He gets it down. Vazella gonna get the shirt out at first. Oh, but the throw is wide of the bag. Rivera gonna come around to score. Winner, winner, walk off more league championship dinner. Wow, how about these Lakewood Lancers? All they do is win in the clutch. After going six and six in the Moore League last year, the worst under head coach Spud O'Neill, who called this just, quote, unbelievable, end quote. Ryan Hare said of people doubting them, we feed off it. Hare with a 0.82 ERA this year with 91 Ks and 76 innings. Real recognized real right there, but Hare is the man in the Moore League. Five Moore League starts, 4-0. Just four runs allowed. 
Thanks as always to all of our sponsors, including Papa Lucci's down on 2nd Street, who help us bring you all of these local sports highlights right here at gazettesports.com and the Press Telegram.